So, generational trauma, or the family curse, is a process in which traumatic experiences are passed from parents, grandparents, great-grandparents, etc., in which emotional behaviors manifest in different ways. So, some being verbal, emotional, and mental abuse, which is going to be my focus, due to a friend of mine requesting me to do this. Now, these type of behaviors are looked at as them toughening you up because life is hard and they want you to survive, but times have shown that they end up overcompensating and created a damaged individual who will now overcompensate for the next generation, whether making them shielded and unable to defend themselves or make them numb to emotional situations. So why is this still occurring? Well, it's due to not getting professional help not addressing the traumatic things in their own life, which in turn has now have them taking it out on their successors. Another way, or another reason why this is allowed to happen was due to not being able to address your predecessor's faults. And even if you did, denial has been a big part of it. Prime example, someone in your family tortured you via one of those uh, forms of abuse that I named. They would deny it or they'd say you're not allowed to bring this to them because this is a forefather or, you know you got to show respect to your elders and things like that so they were allowed to go unchecked and you would see the development from that for the next generations to come to the point where now you'll see people just have a large large level of hatred or discontent for grandparents, parents, so on and so forth. But then they'd have this strong attachment to them where they'd be like, I love them, I respected them, but I hated them for the way they talked to me, for the way they treated me, the way they did this. And, you know, a lot of times you talk to them older folks when you just laugh and joke, and they'd be like, yeah, man, I was hard on you because I didn't want you to be soft or stuff like that. But at the same time, you'll notice that these people constantly go and berate or so busy trying to toughen them up that they end up being alone they chase everybody away and then they wonder why they're alone you see what i'm saying because they don't even understand that they're creating distance and enemies within their own family because they're thinking that they're teaching them how to survive yeah you may be teaching them how to survive but you never taught them how to live because how long are you going to survive without actually living life and that's why you're starting to see in these newer generations where they are promoting, get, you know, getting help, uh, looking for psychologists, psychiatrists, things like that in order to deal with the trauma because they're seeing it from a different look, like from a different you know, viewpoint where they're like, OK, I can't continue these type of behaviors anymore. This is no longer acceptable. Or you see that they don't bring the grandkids around to the grandparents. Why? Because of what they have said and done to them when they were growing up. You know, these are things that need to be looked at, things that need to be understood, because that's not the only aspect of how they go. I got people who can tell you horrible stories about how their grandparents talk to them on a day to day basis. And yet they give them they do everything for them. You know, anything that you could think of, you know, they don't send them to a home. They keep them within the family, you know, take care of them, do all of that stuff. And they berate them every chance they get because of what they went through when they were growing up and they don't even recognize it. They just do it and then go about their business and they never apologize because that's something that's also taught within the community. You don't apologize. Hey, they said what they said and that's it. That's why it's so hard for people to apologize nowadays. It's, it's like that difficult to just be like, I'm sorry, I was wrong or I apologize. I was wrong because I remember at times when you'd be like, I'm sorry, they would be like, I know you are next time. Be careful. So you just told me I'm a sorry individual, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you would instantly build a level of resentment towards those people you're supposed to have this mass amount of respect for. And I think it's gotten to a point where people don't follow that same ideology anymore. They're like, look, I don't care who you are, family or not, you're not going to disrespect me or you're not going to talk to me a certain way because that's been a built up response through the family curse or generational trauma where you're starting to see people make these adjustments. That's why it's very important that you get help. And that's all I got for today. Be on the lookout for more videos. And remember, if you have trauma, go get help. There's nothing wrong with it. It's something that that is a necessity within your own self because you don't want to carry that type of load or weight. Remember, get help if you need to. And like, share, comment, and subscribe to this video if you're rocking with what I'm saying. And have a great day. Peace.